Hey guys, so today I will show you a quick and simple way of making positive photographs on glass. This video is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. Positive image on glass leaves me speechless each and every time with its sublime beauty that literally demands your attention. So yeah, without further ado, let's make some... If you ever printed with film before, the term contact print should sound very familiar. It's basically a negative placed emulsion side down on another piece of light sensitive material. Light is shown through for a short amount of time and this way the negative image imprints on another light sensitive material that is later processed to reveal the final positive image. In order to make your own you will need the following things. A glass or a film negative like this here or you can even use a printed transparency like this one here however I always recommend you to use the original as you can uh, capture and preserve all of those details of the original negative and uh, one more thing uh, it's always nicer and uh, better to work with a bit denser negatives as they give you much more control throughout the process then you will need a unexposed glass plate coated with silver gelatin emulsion also known as a dry plate and of course I will be using Zebra 4x5 glass dry plates today that uh, I am uh, hand coating myself for uh, those who either don't have the time or the necessary equipment to coat them for themselves. They can be purchased in uh, different sizes in my Etsy store which is linked down below. Next one up is a dark room with some sort of a light source whether it's an enlarger or a simple reading lamp like this one here. And the last but not least you will need some processing equipment and chemicals in order to reveal your positive image. Before you start get everything ready, clean your negative, by the way I'm using isopropyl alcohol, prepare the enlarger, the chemicals, the drying racks and so on. So when you start everything will run nice and smooth. Like I said in the beginning regarding the source of light you can use pretty much anything that emits light. Today we'll be using an enlarger as it offers uh, much more control because of the lens aperture and so on. Right now and later on in the video you will probably notice that uh, I'm not gonna be using a timer for the enlarger but uh, rather counting the seconds like this and end it, and end it, and end it and so on. Uh, yeah I don't have a proper timer just yet and to be honest I don't really miss it because the, the smallest format I shoot is 4x5 anyway. Unfortunately there is no such thing as a universal exposure time as it depends on so many things from the distance and the power of your light source to the density of your negative and also to the way you are planning to develop your positive image. This is why you will always have to run some tests in order to determine your exact exposure and uh, that's exactly what I'm about to do right now so yeah follow me along. When it comes to testing I would strongly recommend you to help yourself with a step wedge rather than exposing many plates before getting the right one as by doing that you are basically tossing your money through the window. Step wedge also offers you a direct comparison between each exposure step making the selection easier. I have obviously done some positives on glass before so I know that my exposure time will be somewhere between 6 and 12 seconds so I will expose my wedge with 6 1 second increments. For reference my enlarger is equipped with a 150 watt bulb and the lens is set to f16 which gives me a bit more control with exposure running into full seconds. If you are using a reading lamp you can adjust its power by uh, getting it closer or further away from the exposure plane. After development and a bit of drying this is the step wedge right here. Before you determine your best exposure time you will have to ask yourself how am I gonna present the positive glass image. Will you simply back it up with a piece of uh, white paper like this? Or are you planning to build a uh, proper lit up frame for it? All these different types of presentation require different densities of the positive and uh, later on in the video I will discuss more about ways of presentation for such a plate. Ok let's go back to our step wedge. I would like to present my positive mounted into a 3D printed stand like this with a piece of white board for the backing. This is why I don't want for the negative to be too dense or too thin but rather something in between. This way there will be enough light being transmitted through the positive to enjoy all of those shadow details. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see as exposure steps are uh, quite small. So each step is one second. And But anyway if we start here at the bottom this line here this is a six second exposure and uh, also on the camera you can see that it's too thin then also the 7 seconds looks too thin 
and then if you move on 8 seconds it's starting to look better and uh, also the, the 9 second exposure and then it's already starting to become too dark and too dense on the top here so I think I'm gonna go for the exposure somewhere between 8 and 9 seconds so I'm gonna try 8 and a half seconds On the red safe lights I take out fresh zebra dry plate and place it under the exposure area emulsion side facing up. Then I take my negative and place it on top of the fresh plate emulsion side down. This way emulsions are in direct contact to achieve the maximum possible sharpness. Since glass is quite heavy on its own there is no need to weigh the negative further with another piece of glass like we are used to in contact printing film. When you have everything lined up, you can turn the light on and start counting the seconds. And on waste, 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 and on waste. After the exposure, there is one last magical step you need to make. You would develop the positive plate just like any other negative dry plate. I'm using Kodak HC110 Dilution B at 20 degrees celsius developing for 5 minutes washing in tap water for 1 minute and fixing in a rapid fixer for about 5 minutes then I leave the plate in the final wash for 10 minutes and dry it out on a zebra drying rack for a few hours When it comes to the presentation there is actually quite a few options to choose from. You can simply back the positive up with a white paper and frame it as it is. You can make a 3D printed stand for it just like I did and enjoy the positive image in all of its glory from all sides. By the way in the description below I'm also leaving a link to the free STL file of uh, this stand that can hold a 2mm thick 4x5 plate. So yeah, you can uh, easily make your own and uh, give it a try. Another way I can think of for uh, presenting a glass positive would be to build a bigger frame like this and to incorporate and to wire the lights on the inside and then one would place a plate in, a positive plate in like this and uh, maybe even a motion sensor so every time somebody would pass by the lights would turn on and uh, illuminate the, the positive plate. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you ever tried any of these presentation techniques or if you have any further innovative ideas. There you go guys, I hope this was useful and that you learned something new. If you did, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe for more future content like this. I wish everybody to stay safe and catch you guys in the next one. Bye!